fourth problem evaluate integral 7x minus 4 by x minus 1 whole square into x plus 2 dx. Now, i is equal to integral 7 x minus 4 by x minus 1 whole square into x plus 2 dx. Now, let us find out partial fractions. Consider 7 x minus 4 by x minus 1 whole square into x plus 2. For x minus 1 whole square, there exist two partial fractions. One is a by x minus 1 plus b by x minus 1 whole square. For x plus 2, another partial fraction of the form c by x plus 2. Multiply both sides with x minus 1 whole square into x plus 2. So, a of that we can write like this a of x minus 1 into x plus 2 plus b of x plus 2 plus c of x minus 1 whole square is equal to 7 x minus 4. First, put x is equal to 1. If you put x is equal to 1, here c, this becomes 0, this becomes 0. Here 1 plus 2, this becomes 3. So, 3 b, sorry, this is 3 b is equal to 7 into 3, 21 minus 4. 21 minus 4 is 17. So, b is 17 by 3. Now, put x is equal to minus 2, this becomes 0, this becomes 0. So, now minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 square into c that is 9 c equal to minus 21 minus 4 minus 25 c equal to minus 25 by 9. So, now comparing or equating x square coefficients. See x into x, x square to a x square into c, c. So, a plus c equal to 0, a equal to minus c. So, that a equal to 25 by 9. Now, partial fractions we can write. What are the partial fractions? So, here we have to substitute a, b, this a, b, c values we have to substitute. So, 7 x minus 4 by x minus 1 whole square into x plus 2 equal to a 25 by 9 by x minus 1 b 17 by 3 x minus 1 whole square plus c, c is minus 25 by 9 by x plus 2. So, these are the partial fractions. Now, integration. Therefore, i is equal to integral 25 by 9 integral 1 by x minus 1 dx plus 17 by 3 1 by x minus 1 whole square dx 
minus 25 by 9 integral 1 by x plus 2 dx. So, now 25 by 9 log mod x minus 1 this is 1 by x square integral that is minus 1 by x. So, minus 17 by 3 into x minus 1 log mod x plus 2 minus 25 by 9 log mod x plus 2 plus constant of integration. And the third section first problem. Evaluate integral 1 by x minus a x minus b x minus c dx. Now, i is equal to 1 by x minus a x minus b x minus c dx. Consider 1 by x minus a x minus b x minus c equal to a by x minus a plus b by x minus b plus c by x minus c. Multiply both sides with x minus a x minus b x minus c. So, a into x minus b x minus c plus b into x minus a x minus c plus c into x minus a x minus b which equals to 1. Put x is equal to a this become 0, this become 0. A of a minus b a minus c equals to 1. So, a equals to 1 by a minus b into a minus c one value. Put x is equal to b this and last one become 0 b of b minus a b minus c equal to 1 b is equal to 1 by b minus a b minus c now put x is equal to c this become 0 this become 0 c of c minus a c minus b equal to 1 c equal to 1 by c minus a c minus b. So, now we have to write the partial fractions like this. one by x minus a x minus b x minus c equal to one by a minus b a minus c by x minus a plus one by b minus a b minus c by x minus b plus one by c minus a c minus b by x minus c. Now, we have to integrate it these are the partial fractions. Now, i is equal to this is common a minus b a minus c integral one by x minus a dx plus one by b minus a b minus c 
integral 1 by x minus b dx plus 1 by c minus a c minus b integral 1 by x minus c dx. Next step, this is 1 by a minus b a minus c log mod x minus a plus 1 by b minus a b minus c log mod x minus b okay plus this is 1 by c minus a c minus b log mod x minus c plus constant of integration.